And we're back again at the garden we planted along the fence utilizing newspaper instead of digging by hand. And we're gonna see some of the results of that. If we wanna take a little closer look at it, the Swiss chard here has been doing quite fine. Um, if you, as you can see, we've been harvesting it on occasion and it just keeps coming back and doing very nicely. The tomatoes are starting to produce ripened fruit. Um, there's several green tomatoes, but the red ones are, are slowly coming on. There's a nice red one there that we'll harvest. The viney crops, such as the watermelon, has started to grow onto the fence. One thing I'd like to point out with that, you might want to keep an eye on it or they'll actually grow into the fence and you get this beauty of a fruit. I'm just gonna stick that back there now, but later on I'll move it out of there. Our grapes were decimated by rabbits. Um, they ate right down to nothing and it's coming back nicely. This is the reason for the fence that we, we put up here um, to keep the little bunnies out. The cucumbers also are starting to produce fruit. As you can see, the vine's been growing along the fence here and it won't be long and we'll have a nice sized cucumber there ready to harvest. Still producing plenty of flowers and there are some littler cucumbers here also that will be producing a nice sized fruit later on. Here's an onion that could get larger, but we're gonna pick it and um, utilize it. Just pulling it out gently. I like to brush all the dirt back off, leave it out in the garden. I even peel these off sometimes. Um, you can compost them, of course, but um, I like to leave it out here. And I tear this part off, throw it in there, and it's all ready to, to be recycled by, by other plants in the future. Any other little odd leaves I'll tear off and leave out here also. And the rest is all ready for either a wonderful salad or soup or, oh, anything you like, raw. It's all good. Let's look at this bean here. Um, after I, we harvested some of the onions, there was an empty space here. And so we planted beans for a fall harvest. And if you notice, there are some that are just starting to come on here and it won't be long and there'll be beans here for a second crop where the onions once were. There's different ways of watering your plants. I prefer not to water overhead to decrease the likelihood of diseases developing on the plants. I like to use a soaker hose. There are different methods you can use also. A soaker hose has worked well for me here. And I've laid it out along the whole distance of the garden. And sometimes I've buried it, sometimes I've left it on top. And what I've done is I've turned on the water for approximately a half hour every three, every four days, depending on if we've had rain or, or not. And, I, and I, an estimation of how much water these plants are actually getting would be about an inch and a half a week. And they've been doing quite well. One of the reasons that I don't use, for example, one of the overhead watering apparatuses that you can purchase, is it seems that you, you tend to also water your weeds when you do that. So a soaker hose has worked well as far as being efficient in water use. And also it's an, it's an easy um, placement. Once it's there, it's fine. Sometimes you need to move your other, your other watering devices around. This type of soaker hose will actually permeate water in various spots. Very tiny little holes are in here and the little, little droplets will come out and water the area they're at. Um, there are different ones that you can purchase. This one has done fine for me and it does very well. How long do they last is, is a question that um, uh, it depends. Out in an element like the outside like this, I would say they could last at least three to five years depending on how much sunlight hits them and if you take care of them in the fall. Um, this fall I will, I will drain out any water that's in here, roll up the hose, clean it off, and store it inside. Um, if you leave it set out over the winter, you can get some damage from cracking and such, and it might not even last the season for next year. If you notice the little paper remnants on the edges here, um, obviously have had some wear to them. They are starting to break down though. Um, they, they're very friable. They fall apart real easy. Some of the roots are actually working their way through and and not to destroy the plants, but um, they, they are working their way through the little, little bits here. And if you want to take a look at what's underneath, this is the grass that was there. 
You can't even tell there was grass there. Let me pull some of these that are just coming in from the side here. But right here, if you look at, you can't even tell that we had lawn here before. It has turned into just nice friable soil underneath this newspaper. A lot of time was saved not digging in this lawn.